In this evening's Accent on Academics presentation, the Tiger Path Project by Tab High School focuses on student problem solving, STEM skills to create a path from Tab High School to Tab Middle School. Through this project, students gain valuable experiences related to land use, local laws, design, and funding. To share more about this presentation and introduce the students and other presenters is Mr. Paul Rice, Tab High School principal. Mr. Rice. Good evening, Dr. Shandor, Chairman Richardson, members of the board. I'm Paul Rice, principal at Tab High School, and it is my pleasure to be here tonight to present the Fab February Accent on Academics Tiger Path, which represents three key beliefs of Tab High School, purposeful instruction, high standards, and providing students with opportunities to collaborate with real world experiences. Great teaching ideas come in many venues in the hallway, at lunch, or in a PLC meeting. But the one thing they have in common is great teachers. I want to thank Ms. White and Ms. Miller, who are here with us tonight, who have been a driving force behind this. So I would now like to introduce Jerry Sun and to present our Tiger Path project. Okay, so we have folders for you. On the right pocket, we have the uh, presentation that we're showing. On our left, we have lesson plans as well as our uh, presentation that we shared at our expo last year. So Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <coughs> All right. Um, my name is Jerry Sun. I'm a uh, cross country runner at Top High School. Hi, my name is Nick. I am not a cross country runner at Top <laughs> High School. As you can clearly see, uh, I'm playing for the tennis team and I'm also a debater. Uh, my name is Aaron Jin. I'm a member of uh, Mu Alpha Theta. I'm also a cross country runner. And my name is Michael Richo, and I also do Mu Alpha Theta, and I'm part of cross country team. All right, so uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, tonight we'll be uh, presenting our path project. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've been working on this project for about a year and a half now, and this project actually proposes a path in between the Tab Middle School and the Tab High School. We feel like, we feel like this path would be helpful for um, Tab High School students and the community as a whole in your county. Okay, so we have a list of concerns that we'd like to share. So Tab High School has a large area for athletics, but none for cross country, and as you see, we have three cross country runners, and they can all attest to it. Uh, so we can't even hold a cross country meets well. A reduction in availability of school-provided transportation has been seen. There are always rerouting, and some of those pictures on your screen, uh, the bottom one is actually of a uh, high, uh, York County bus, where they're asking for more bus drivers because we always have to reroute as there's a shortage. 61.9% uh, of households have both parents employed, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This means that a lot of the time, for 61% of families, they cannot have their parents send them to and from many extracurricular activities, especially ones across Big Bethel Road, which uh, connects the high school to the middle school. Big Bethel Road is windy, it is very dangerous, it is relatively fast at 45 miles per hour being the speed limit. There's limited visibility, meaning that kids who wanna go from hi the high school to the middle school either have to walk through an uncleared forest or they have to walk on very, very dangerous roads. And also, uh, creating this path would be an incredible experience for everyone, so we would have more interact interactive learning, et cetera. All right, so um, as, my, uh, as Nate Goose said before, our need is for a safe pathway between, uh, for the students and athletes between Tab High School and Tab Middle School. This could be a long distance running slash walking trail for exercise, and it could, we could also have stations for local community members as well. Because um, according to the CDC, 23% of adults actually don't give enough physical exercise. So that means that this would actually be able to promote physical exercise in our community, and it could be pro opportunities for adults and family members to get together and do stuff within the community, as well as it will be helpful for the student body as a whole. So our proposed solution for this tiger path is to create a, walking, a safe walking path from Tab High School to Tab Middle School that accommodates bicycles for those kids that like using skateboards, bicycles, et cetera. We also want to create a three-mile cross-country course 
around Tab High School so that we can host cross country meets and, uh, and practice there without having to resort to highways or going along unsafe roads. We also want to create exercise stations, as my uh, partner said before, to prom promote exercise within the community and create a healthier community. And uh, we also want to provide additional parking, drinking water, trash receptacles, and lighting along the path just to make the path safer, just, just for the night runners. And, you know, lighting is always a safe option. And uh, we also want to create learning stations throughout the path to promote academics. We, might, we could create, like, history stations, or we can create, like, stations that tell, that tell uh, kids about the wildlife that inhabits the local area. We, also, we could also uh, establish a butterfly garden, frog pond, bee habitat, Honestly, the possibilities are endless if we establish a, a nature, a nature-wide trail through our, around our school, because there's so much land use, and um, we also for the cultural arts, we also might plan to create an amphitheater for the, uh, for local local artists, actors, any and uh, any literal arts clubs. There are some possible issues that are in the way of creating our path. Some of them include the costs of the path and. There are a lot, and the zoning, we have to, it cuts through private property that are owned by residents of York County, and landscaping issues, endemic endangered species, and environmental concerns, which we have looked at. So, the path you see before you is our proposed path. The blue line represents the path from the Tab High School to the Tab Elementary School. As you can see, it will go through the private property of Ash Harry Richardson, and it might cut through Virginia Power, Power and Company and Co. And then there, it will join with a, with a pre-existing path near Mount Vernon, which will eventually lead to Tab Middle School. Our cross-country path is a 3.1 mile course because uh, in most cross-country races need that, that amount of mileage in order to host a meet. That will go around the forest and it should connect with a pre-existing cross-country path like small path that we have in Tap High School. So these are the current property lines that we're gonna be dealing with. As you can see, VA Power is over here and then we have Tap High School over here. Tap Middle School is off to the left. And here's a wider view of the property line areas. As you can see, this whole area marked by the orange dot is the Ash Harry Richards, Ash Richard, Harry Richard Ash's property. <laughs> and the, uh, the yellow dot represents the Vic Victory Estates Homeowners Association. And the, uh, we, the Green dot is the the green dot is the uh, Virginia Electric Power and Co. So the map you see before you is hurricane storm surges. This is just to show that the that our uh, area that we'll be building the path is, is safe from any hurricane storm surges or any environmental dangers. So we took some pictures to show the path the path would take. It starts at Tab High School, and this is right behind Tab High School at the start of the current cross country path. Then this is Harry Richard Ash's property. As you can see, it's a little swampy during times of rain, so we'd need to make a wooden path which would allow for bikes and other vehicles with wheels to travel on. Then we get to the sidewalk on Big Bethel. This is approaching Tab Middle School, and we wouldn't need to make much additions to this. Then there's the entrance, Tab Middle School. This is one of the, or it's close to where the path ends. And this is the parking lot of Tab Middle School. All right, so uh, got to talk about the cost, right? It's always about the money. So, uh, <clears throat> so um, the best possible ways to get money would be obviously if YCSD would be able to move around their budget to give us some to create this path. But <laughs> um, there's also research grants. Uh, as you see here, we've listed walkabout mini grants, non-infrastructure grants. These are all possible grants. We actually already applied to the um, Samsung a Solve for Tomorrow grant, and we got top five, and we actually want a tablet. Not any hard cash, but it's a tablet. <laughs> but, and um, uh, what would what also be excellent is if we could actually start some grassroots funding, such as a bake sale, or something for the community to actually help fund for this uh, project. So there's, it's a very cross-curriculum uh, type thing. So for math, of course, we can survey land. We can also use drone footage, which is a technology thing to, you know, show aerial footage of the path. You know, create a YouTube video, get some advertising, maybe get some ad revenue, you know. Uh, also, uh, we have also integrated activities for all levels of math. You can see that on the left side, I believe, of your thing behind other sheets. Um, we can also conduct statistical tests based on surveys that we do. 
uh, amongst the community to see you know, the general opinion, the percent error, et cetera. And we can also create 3D models using 3D printers. So for science, this is a huge biology project. So we can contact the VA master's naturalists and we can walk properly with the students, talk about the watershed properties, as well as discuss the uh, wildlife there. They can also assist with clearing the land. And uh, we can also establish the habitats for the uh, our existing indigenous creatures to our area. And of course, butterfly gardens, beehives, et cetera. For the arts, uh, we have a plan. Uh, we want to have an amphitheater out there, so for our arts programs, because right now our drama room is pretty lackluster, in my opinion. So having an outdoor facility would be amazing, and that could help with uh, you know local performances as well. Maybe get some revenue there. R right now, the venue never know pays for itself, and uh, physical education. That's apparently obvious. Of course, we can have uh, you know we have the exercise stations, walking, running, cross country. All my guys know that we really, really want a new cross-country path. Because currently the path that we have is basically cleared out from running over it so much, not so much as an actual established path. And for history, we can always talk about the local history of our community and English. And for all subjects, in fact, we can go out and have an outdoor classroom, which would be so fun and amazing. So our next steps, basically, we're going to have student surveys sent around, as well as you know, parental surveys to conduct our statistical tests to see the, uh, how much the community would enjoy having such a path. We can contact the VA Master's Naturalist, as I mentioned earlier, to talk about the endangered species and wildlife. Of course, we'd also need to contact the property owners, especially the private pa property that we went on. We can also investigate more grant opportunities that we listed earlier and apply to more of them. And we can also go over more VDOT regulations and laws. And of course, our final slide is discussion. <laughs> These are pretty much question headers for you guys to talk about. Feasibility, community involvement, county involvement, and the approval process. So we now stand for questioning. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'd just like to say it's obvious you've done your homework on this one. It's, uh, <laughs> you, you've done a good job. That was an excellent yeah, presentation. Yeah, excellent. And, and go ahead. I don't. Y'all didn't miss a beat. Um, some there's some state organizations. Somebody want to take lead um, on how complex you. I mean, you took this to levels that they may have, they may learn something. Um, if it's doable, y'all could probably get it done. Um, I'm ready to write a check, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, but great presentation. I like the fact that not only did you just look at it here, but you dug deep and you 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 just went different directions um, in your presentation. And every time when I thought, okay, they were pretty much, what more can they explore? And you went another direction again. Um, so, y'all do some fantastic work. Congratulations. Great job. Can, can you go back to the slide on uh, the cost? This is really small. I can't see this very well. <laughs> Still can't see that. Uh, it's uh, behind you. You're gonna have to okay. yeah. the projector. Sorry. Uh, these are just some possible grants that we have to research. There's probably more, but these are the ones we found so far. On the VDOT website right now. Yes, on the VDOT website. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. And we want a tablet already, so we're we're getting close. There you go. All right. <laughs> you can do it. Thank you. you can All right. Do it. Thank That's you. Great. It was a great thank job. You. Thank you so much.